Do you use a wacky rig? Do you run through those O-rings quickly? Do you hate spending all that money on the tool and the O-rings? I'm going to show you, thanks to Greg Johnson's suggestion, how to get a lifetime supply of gear to wacky rig worms. Stay tuned. A lot of really good bass anglers, and I'm afraid I'm not included in that, will tell you that the wacky rig is a great way to fish some of these plastic worms. And it's a really simple rig. Basically, traditionally, you would put an O-ring on, and then you would put your hook through the O-ring. Now, the challenge, of course, is twofold. One, getting O-rings that are inexpensive, and two, getting it on the worm to where you can center it in the middle or wherever else you want to have it to be able to put the, put the hook through. Well, Greg Johnson came up with a dollar store solution that I'm going to show you in a minute. Now, what he used for the O-rings were uh, exercise bands. Apparently, the dollar store sells those in January to account for the fitness boom and everybody's desire to lose weight. But when I recently went in to ask for those, no, nah, they didn't have those anymore. So I had to come up with an alternative. So let me show you what that alternative is and how to do this. Because when you're done, you've got a, basically a lifetime supply of O-rings and a wacky rig tool that only costs a buck. I'm going to show you how to replace the quick rigger tool, which costs 650, and a couple O-rings, which go for three bucks, with two bucks worth of stuff from the dollar store. This is great. Here's what you're going to need to get. You need to get their dry erase markers. Get this kind, not the ones that hook on magnetically. And then some of these pony holders. And I tell you, I've been looking for a use for these pony holders for about a year and a half. This is probably the third time I've bought them. And now I'm actually going to have a use for them. So the first step is to go ahead with the dry erase marker. And now what we're going to do is we're going to cut off the tip. And surprisingly, the ink doesn't come out all over the place. It's all contained in this little tube. Now, this becomes our wacky rig holder. Here's a worm. Fits right in there. And now, the pony holders are going to go on here. And let me show you how that's going to work. Now, these pony holders are very thin rubber bands. So... I recommend using two of them and basically you're just going to stick those on the end and you're going to double them over. Then once you roll them together a little bit they're all going to be intertwined and now you can stick your worm in here, run the rubber bands, the pony holders, onto the worm and then position it to wherever you want. If you're concerned that just having two of these isn't going to be strong enough, depending on how vigorously you cast, you can always put three. So when you're done, you can have one of these dry erase markers full of pony holders ready to roll off and install on your worm. Isn't this cool? I really appreciate Greg sending that suggestion in, and I love making the video and doing the research on how to come up with an ex the alternative to the exercise bands that he would sniff up and make the O-rings out of. What do you guys think? Do you have another cheap way to get a wacky rig going? If so, throw in the comments below. But Greg and I have a dollar store solution, and it works. Thanks.